Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Disco Kitty, the Crappy Crafter. Today, we're going to be using a couple of new, for me, items. The first one is something I have seen a ton of YouTubers use. Painting, drawing, whatever. They are Posca pens. A water-based paint, water-based ink. I have no idea. Um, it just says water-based. A lot of people that I watch claim that they are acrylic. I don't know. I'm not versed enough in paint to tell. The other thing that we'll be using today are Arkiza, which actually say acrylic markers, but they also say that they are water-based, so it's a safe assumption that we can assume that these are acrylics as well. I don't really know. Somebody educate me, because I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited to do this. The only problem is I've already had a, a Loki incident, because you know Loki causes mischief and that's what Lokis do. I prepped this with Gesso last night, and uh, he stepped on it this morning. Stretched out my canvas, which is okay because this this is a three dollar canvas from the Dollar General, so I'm not overly broken up about it. This isn't going to be a work of art. We're just playing with them. We're gonna swatch them on a regular piece of paper, and then we'll we'll do a sketch and a thing on this later. Yeah, so uh, that should be about all there is. Let's get into it. Let's start right off by swatching all of these markers. I'm just going to write the names of each marker in the marker color. Mm, very different tips. I think I like the Posca tip better. The fine tips will come in very handy. They are not the ones we'll be testing today, however. Not officially. Not on the, the final product. We'll be using the fatter tips so that we can more accurately judge the difference between the two brands. So far, I like both brands. They both go down pretty well. Time for the sketch. We'll start that by measuring out the halfway point on the canvas draw a line straight down through and then sketch out a really super simple drawing that has big areas to color in. It's going to be an ugly flower in an even uglier pot. As far as I can remember this is the first time I've ever used canvas and definitely the first time I've ever drawn on a canvas with graphite. I didn't realize how much graphite I was going to go through with this. I didn't realize just how textured a canvas was. I know, it sounds pretty stupid, but when you've never used one... Nope, we're coming up on my first small mistake. I'm going to try to erase, and then wipe, and then brush graphite powder everywhere, and then go with a kneaded eraser that works much better. And now it's time to start with the markers. I'm going with the Arteza ones first, and I'm going to do the entire left side of the painting with the Arteza markers. And don't worry, I'm gonna speed this up a heck of a lot more so you don't have to watch every single brush stroke. So far, I mean, I've only used one marker, but look at how juicy that is. That's just so juicy. It's very nice. They, they go down very well. They're very juicy. They work really well. You can still see pencil lines through them. They're not that opaque, but that's okay. We're going to go over it with a black outline anyway. Here we're going to try out a little wet blending. I just learned about this earlier, and um, it seems to work pretty well actually. I was impressed. Do a little bit more with the red and yellow. It doesn't come out quite as well, but it's still pretty nice. Now for green and red. Was I surprised it came out brown? Yes. Should I have been surprised? No. Now we move on to the other paint markers, the Poscas. Very nice. 
they worked very well, just as well. Maybe a little bit better, it's hard to say. They were in fact just as juicy as we'll see soon here. Just as juicy, very nice. Of course, the problem with markers and paint is that paint really wants to go down with the brush and the nibs on these markers leave lines through it and kind of scuff it up a little bit. But you know what? That's okay. It happened with both sets and I kind of expected that because hard nibs, not soft brush. But hey, I think it works pretty well. You know, just pretend that they're brush marks, right? going to go in with a little wet blending with the other markers and it works just as well. I don't think it works any better but it seems to work just as well which is fine. And the whole point of that is you put down one color and while it's still wet you color over it with another color and then kind of drag that mixed color out so that you get a nice gradient best way to do it seems to be put down the dark then put down the light and drag it out with the light marker as you'll see soon I try it the other way and the black just kind of overwhelms the white and that's fine we've learned something now it's time to do the outline and you want to make sure that the first layer of paint is completely dry or you will accidentally try to wet blend although I don't know if it will be as obvious when you're using black over a color and that's okay. Now it's time for highlights and these white markers are just as disappointing as every other white medium I have ever used. So transparent, so not as white as I want it to be, but I can say the Poscas were definitely better than the Arteza when it came to the white. The Poscas are more matte, the Artezas are more shiny, and that's okay. I think that worked out pretty well. Here's my painting. I have to say I'm pretty happy with the wet blending that both sets of markers did. I just learned how to do that this morning before I started the video because I've never used acrylic markers before, as I have said before. I mean, unless those old gold and silver ones from like the 80s count. I don't think they do though, because they had a weird juicy outline. Uh, but yeah, these worked out pretty well. Yeah. The Arteza markers are less expensive per set. A 20 marker set with the big fat nibs is 20, $28 on Amazon. And a 21 set of the Poscas is $36 on Amazon. So it's, it's a pretty significant savings if you want to start with something a little bit cheaper, but still works pretty well in the long run. They blend about the same, they work about the same. Some of the lighter colors in both of them were streaky and, well, they're markers, so that'll happen. But uh, all said and done, I think these worked pretty well. I don't really have any complaints about either of them, except the black one and my Arteza was already dried out. It took 10 minutes for me to get that stupid nib saturated and even then it was still not as, as good as the other markers even in its own set. So that's just, you know, that's just bad luck of the draw. Um, yeah, overall I think they worked out pretty well. I will certainly get more of the Poscas, maybe more of the Artezas because they'll have different colors, slightly different colors for each brand. Um, but I think they'll work pretty well for anything I do in the future. I understand a little bit why every YouTuber that I watch ends up using Poscas, because it seems to be the common denominator for all of the art 
YouTubers that I watch anyways, they all love Puskas, whether they're sculptors or painters or drawers or, you know, whatever. Everybody seems to use Puskas. So I guess now I am too. I've jumped on the bandwagon as it were, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. So with all that said and done, until next time, stay safe. haven't even started yet and the cat okay can you hear him purring <laughs> well that didn't work out so well did it oh, and I touched my ear I know I touched my face in one of my other videos and you know what it's just it's just not a thing stop two different brands Let's try making this <laughs> using one Posca or paint marker over the top of another wet are still <laughs> Oh Loki. Loki butt. <gasps> Hi baby. You come for a snuggle? Come here. Come here. Oh, big fat fluff. Everybody loves you, Loki. Because you are the best Loki ever. Mm -hmm. You're my variant.